I, I grew up in the 1960s uh, when the civil rights movement was, was taking place, and I certainly remember the impact that Martin Luther King Jr. had on society at that time. And when you think about the impact of the voice, uh, clearly his voice was huge. Uh, but I think it also reminds us that we as citizens have a responsibility to use our voice to oppose injustice whenever we see it. And that is certainly true today as we continue to struggle for social justice in our society. So all of us need to be aware of the need for using our voice to uh, further the cause of social justice and equality in this country. And I look forward to all of us commemorating MLK Jr. during this week. It's important that NC State promotes the power of voice because just in today's climate, it's important that our students know that they have a real opportunity to make a difference and they have a real opportunity to be active in their community and to change. The power of voice is tantamount to a strong higher education experience. All of our students need to have agency. They need to have the ability to be able to speak, but also to be able to connect, to reflect, and to act through their own voice, through their own words, through their own stories. To be able to highlight voices that have been marginalized, and for those of us as a white person, for example, who come from privileged backgrounds, to be able to sit back and listen to those voices so that there's a diverse representation of words and experiences that can inform the work that we're doing. So it's very important that the power of everyone's voice um, has weight in these times. And so um, if we are about what we say we are about, um, and what we advance ourselves to be about, uh, the power of voice is something that does not only need to be promoted, but honored respected and um, uh, fought for. With such a national effort to strengthen the, or, or reinforce the rights of the individuals to freely express themselves, it also creates environments where uh, individuals that, that may disagree or may be traditionally marginalized don't feel the same freedom to express themselves um, because they may be underrepresented, uh, because their perspectives may challenge the status quo uh, or may offend uh, those who may be, be in power. They tend to hold their voices and not fully express themselves. Uh, what we wanted to do is really create spaces where people will feel more comfortable is expressing themselves, especially if they feel that their, their particular perspectives uh, may not be I I accepted. NC State must make sure that every voice is heard because you never know which voices might have the answers we need. I'm very excited about MLK Junior Week. I think that we have a tremendous docket of, of not only speakers, but also of engagement activities, starting with that day of service. I think that that is definitely what Dr. King would have wanted, and I'm excited to see it play out this year at NC State.